Hey, Susanna here, and I'd like to do a video on the top three ways to stay motivated in your weight loss journey. Shout out to Katie, who asked me this question recently on how do you stay motivated in your weight loss journey. So I want to share three things that work for me, and I hope it helps you. The first thing is to find your soulmate workout. That was the first thing I did because it was my first step in getting going. And I went through everything. I mean, I have tried pretty much everything. And I was working out at home because at the time that I started this journey, my kids were small. I mean, little babies in cribs. And I had zero time because I was constantly running around chasing these babies and keeping them out of cabinets and toilets. So I had to find something and I tried everything. I asked friends for tapes. I tried step. I tried, um, oh gosh, what else did I try? Oh, on the TV, you know, the ones that they're there by the beach and they're doing all this crazy stuff. Yeah. And it didn't work. I got bored really, really fast. And I never found anything and it was very discouraging until somebody turned me on to Turbo Jam. They said, you got to try it. It's really, really fun. Or, yeah, whatever. I've tried everything. Mm -hmm. So I tried that and it really worked for me. And I would find the time when my kids were sleeping at night. So that worked for me. If you're a busy mom, you have to find that time. For me, it wasn't during the day because when they went down for a nap, I needed like that that time out myself, okay? So it worked for me at night, and I loved it. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun. That became my soulmate workout. So I encourage you to find the soulmate workout that works for you. It might be something that you do at home, and there's so many options out there. If you need advice, please ask. It might be going to the gym and working with a trainer that you love or a fitness class that is really fun to take. Find a workout that works for you. Step number one. Step number two. Once you start seeing results from that soulmate workout, and you will because you keep going back for more, you won't get bored. You start seeing the results. Ha ha, yay. And then I tackled step number two, which was to watch my diet. Because I didn't want to mess up the progress I was seeing through the workouts I was doing. So I started watching what I was eating, what I was drinking. Okay, don't drink your calories, okay? Water is essential. You have to hydrate your body. And you have to eat. You have to fuel that body. It, if you don't put gas in your car, it starts running. So you have to fuel your body, otherwise it shuts down. Watch what you eat. Now, I do not deprive myself. I want to make that a point. I don't count every single calorie. I don't measure all my food. What I do is I have everything in moderation. A tip that I hope helps you, maybe you've heard this before, instead of the big dinner plates, use a salad plate, and then that way you take the food that you're gonna eat, and instead of filling up the huge dinner plate, put it on a salad plate, and once you're done, you're done. You don't go back for seconds only because it was a smaller plate. That's your portion and that's all that you need for that meal. Make sure you snack as well. There's so many healthy snack options out there. I use almonds. Greek yogurt is fabulous. You can use Shakeology. I, I do that at 3 o'clock every single day like clockwork. Uh, that helps me keep my chocolate craving down. So that is step number two for motivation with weight loss. Step number three. Find an accountability partner, somebody who's going to keep you on track, that you've spoken your goals to, they know what you want to do, and they're not going to sabotage your journey. And better yet, it might be somebody who wants to join this journey with you. Find an accountability partner, so key. Now, do you have to do all of these three steps at one time? You absolutely do not. If it's overwhelming in the beginning, start with step number one, find the workout. Then once you get that under your belt, step number two, which is get your eating habits under control. Then step number three, find the accountability partner. That has helped me. I have lost 40 plus pounds to get, reach my goal weight, yay. 
but I still do all of those three things in order to maintain my goal weight. It's constantly a challenge. It's something that is never going to go away. So don't feel like you have to reach some certain goal and then you stop. It's a lifestyle. So I hope this helped you and feel free to give me a comment or if you have any questions on workouts, um, you know, eating plans, diet plans. Oh, actually scratch that. I hate the word diet. I, I hate the word diet. Diet has a negative connotation to it. Um, an eating plan, wellness plan. Please let me know. All right, I hope this was helpful. Thanks, bye, have a great day.